Um, okay, let's get to this. I think it's a very interesting topic, and it is the um, the seven secrets to a to lasting love, um, to a happy marriage, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, number one. And these they have say, just been released. Like we've just now discovered this is the hot seven off secrets. The press. <laughs> um, they say number one, have realistic expectations. I think that's kind of a, a no-brainer. Yeah. You know, don't don't it's hard. Don't but expect it is a no someone to change. You know, after you. If you want marry them, them to change, don't marry them. Take Good them point. like they are. Why I'm Good saying point. <laughs> Good point. Dump them if you think you have to change them. Okay. It says sweat the small stuff. Um, so don't sweat. Don't sweat no, the no, 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 no. They're saying sweat the small stuff. For instance, if he leaves his dirty socks on the floor instead of putting them in the hamper and it really drives you crazy, they say you should say something about it. You don't have to fight but about isn't it, that but when you should let it Women know. become naggy. I mean, I'm not I married agree. for obvious reasons. But, I agree. Um, I, that's, everyone's that's hysterical. Um, <laughs> no, but I mean, isn't, doesn't that what men get annoyed by? But you know what? It's the timing. Okay. I've learned it's all about the timing because you're right. You've got to, and Susie, you know this, you've got to be able to communicate. Yeah, absolutely. It's the way you approach your tone and it's the timing. I know with my husband, there's certain times I'm just not going to bring it up because I know what the response will be. But there's times when I know right. it's like, it's a good, it's a good moment. This is the time to say, look, babe, I need you to pick those socks up. Yeah. Isn't but, that gross? No, we, we had a little, we had a little, you know, I don't know what you call it, a little tip about um, turning the lights on and off in the house. Yeah, like and that bugs like, okay. my husband to death. We, we won't talk about that. <laughs> um, okay, number three is consider yourselves a team. Well, I think that's I think that's another no brainer. Wait, 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 wait. in everything? Well, I would assume that it's in I don't think so. I don't think you need to be a team in everything. No? Oh, uh, no. I think you don't have to you don't have to be a team if he likes hunting and fishing you don't have to go as far as well, the relationship is concerned this says that ohio state university researchers tracked couples for 20 years and they said that those who made decisions jointly were the happiest yeah well i believe if for you're that. talking decisions about decisions as a team not decisions. meaning you have to do everything well as a team. yeah but i still believe in the individuality of that's, the two partners. That's one of them. Oh, yeah, but I think that that's, you have to be able to make decisions together. And a lot depending of depending on on what's involved here. Oh, I don't know. In my house, it's everything. Okay, but if, I just believe if you want, I know he's if, cracking up. The ladies are like, uh huh. I you, mean, if, really. If we, you want to go down and, and buy a dress, or you want to do something like that, I don't that. need oh, yeah. anyone's what, approval to do that. Well, no, Courtney. <laughs> I'm a, no, and I'm gonna help you because you know, my, you know, my little sister. When you get ready. You still gotta have a budget. It goes to the top, so it's not like, oh, I'm just gonna go buy ten dresses. I mean, in our house, we really we establish a budget. So then, if that fits in the well, budget, that's we just and it's like expectations. <laughs> Girl, I'm gonna have to work <laughs> with you. That's just, of course, having the expectations intact. Sure. So across the board. Okay. It also says accentuate the positive. So um, you know, really talk nicely about your spouse mm -hmm. to other people, to yeah. to your partner. Like build each yeah. other I think that's up. That's yeah. important. That's yeah. a good one because mm -hmm. you're you're on the same. Team, yes, right? if you're talking down about your spouse, the way we do a lot, we make mm -hmm. jokes about when a man all the time. We make jokes about him, put him down. If you're going to do that and disrespect him, you need to get out of the marriage and let him go find somebody who will treat him right. And it, it is about respect. I love you. you she always right has the guys. Back. I feel sorry for guys having to okay, put up with it women. Says, <laughs> number five, <laughs> serious. She she always has just number five is. Um, did I say remember the little things? Mm -hmm. Remember yes. the little things. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, it says that the degree to which you can regularly make your partner feel special is a significant factor in how happy you are. So remember the little things make them feel special. Um, and uh, the next one is spend time apart. Like you mm -hmm. said, important mm -hmm. to have separate interests. Spend some time apart so that you can come back together and you have things to and talk about. And you have about. something right. to talk about. Do they talk about? Because I don't want to bring a man shopping with me. Like, let's be honest. Like, when I think couples that spend too much time together, I'm always, it annoys me, those those couples. I'm like, you need a hobby, like, that doesn't that's involve right. Right. the other person. And right. I think that that's super healthy. Yeah. But what if you love spending time together? Like, well, that, then, I mean, yeah, that's, that's my best friend. Like, I, that's who I want to hang out with, usually. Right. Well, that's Unless now. Unless irritated just, with that <laughs> for some yeah. reason. The just moved in together a week ago. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Is, there yeah. last yeah. point? is there another point? What's your, this is the last one, and, and I know we all have an opinion about this one. It says that you should have strong relationships with both sexes. So you okay. should have relationships what with kind of people relationships? as well. It <laughs> says, get this, without the complications of adultery. Okay. I, I agree with that. Well. The right? Yes, we are. Yeah. We, we, we have a male point of view over here sitting on our couch. Because I've got like, some opinions. So I think he's starting to sweat. He's like in the hot seat. <laughs> but really quickly, so before you nervous. go there, they didn't have anything about, I mean, okay, this is for married couples. 
but like about um, sexual relations being a very important part of marriage and relationship? I, no, apparently they're more into you should have platonic friendships with the opposite sex because no, it's a sexy pick me up. I'm, I'm sorry, if you're married, that's a huge part of marriage. Sex? Absolutely. I mean, I think it needs to be on a regular basis. It keeps you, it, look at you. Yeah. It's <laughs> time. Your ears. I can't wait to get, to get married, y'all. <laughs> it really keeps the relationship alive and it keeps you connected. It's true. I actually had an older I, woman so tell me she'd be more to talk about. He says, she says, right? I mean, well, we're going to cover all of this. Okay.